Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome to a new Ninjaga video here on the channel. In today's video we are going to be discussing Ronin's character within the season 14 story and why so many people seem to take issue with his inclusion. Now Ronin being in season 14 I'm sure is not a surprise to anybody. Season 14 has been out in the open for several days now and if you haven't seen it just yet I'm not sure what you're waiting for. It's all there on YouTube so feel free to check it out if you would like to. But yeah, Ronin basically makes an appearance at the very end of the season. He's revealed to be the the ringleader behind the entire fake Wajira plot that was kind of going on uh, throughout the events of season 14. Basically, a bunch of criminals were using a fake Wajira to get the Keepers to sacrifice various things out to themselves, such as, again, jewels or whatever else the Keepers might have had, food, J. So yeah, Ronan was behind all of that. He and his little group of criminal friends were the ones basically organizing that entire plot to steal various things from the Keepers. And of course, they were all found out by the ninja towards the end of the season, and Ronan was arrested accordingly. Now, Ronin being a criminal like this, I do have to admit, it is a little bit, I guess, out of character. And that's a really big complaint coming from the Ninjago community, is that Ronin's character isn't really all that consistent from season to season. When you think about it, though, that's basically who Ronin is. He's very inconsistent. That's kind of his personality trait. Sometimes he helps the ninja, and sometimes he's against the ninja. I guess Ronin can be seen as like a two-sided coin. You flip it, and depending on which side you land on, that's which side he's on for the day. Which I assume is is going to be Ronin's character arc going forward. The last time we saw Ronin, though, he was kind of on the side of good, and I think the most recent that we actually saw him was in season 10, where he kind of grouped up with the ninja and some of their other allies towards the conclusion of March of the Oni. So the last time we saw him, he was on the side of good, now he's on the side of evil. Again, folks are complaining about that, but honestly, I feel like that's more in tune with, I guess, Ronin's character arc. My big issue with Ronin in season 14 is that he's there at all. I really don't think that Ronin was, I guess, a good fit for season 14. I feel like if his character was kind of turned into somebody like Clutch Powers, maybe using a fake Wajira to steal from the Keepers, that would have made a little bit more sense as opposed to just bringing in Ronin randomly towards the end. I was never really a big fan of that decision, but I don't really consider Ronin's, I guess, personality to be all that inconsistent because he is an inconsistent character. Though I do understand a lot of the complaints coming towards Ronin for his inclusion in season 14, I understand that he's not the best character ever and his inclusion in the season really doesn't make that much sense when you compare it to the larger scheme of things, so I understand those criticisms. The only criticism that I don't really agree with is that Ronan as a character isn't the same character as he was before. He certainly is. He's very much living that criminal life, and again, he kind of bounces back and forth, so I'm not super surprised that he turned out to be a criminal here, and I'm not super surprised that he went back to that side, but honestly, I would have rather have seen somebody else fill in that role, which, like I said, might have gone to somebody like Clutch Powers, or maybe a different character. I don't know. To me, bringing in just a random side character doesn't really feel all that great, but that's just my opinion. You guys are free to list your own opinions down below in the comments, and feel free to let me know what you think about Ronin's character. Do you find his character to be inconsistent, or do you think that's kind of the point? Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including once again the Marvelous Jan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Hannah Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.